Hi guys, I received a comment on my profile from CPX8. It says, Hi Duncan, I saw in one of your recent videos that you used NLight to put XP on your EPC. I was wondering if you could make a tutorial on how to slim down XP. I tried doing it, but I didn't know what to take out and what to leave. Uh, it is true, on my EPC I have a 4GB solid state drive, uh, which is a hard drive, and um, when I installed XP on it and did a standard XP install, it took 1.2 gigabytes of that 4, so um, it didn't leave me with a lot of space. Now, um, what I had to do was n light the install. Now, all that means is that it will, you can remove components from the XP installation because by default, if you just install XP, there isn't any options really. Um, no, there isn't at all. There isn't any options to remove the applications that you have. Um, that are installed, such as sound recorder, accessibility options, things like that. You can't actually configure them, they're just installed automatically. So, um, what you can do is use something called NLight, which will remove the components. Now, um, it ha offers a lot more features, and I'll just be going over them briefly as well and showing you some alternative ways to get rid of the bloating um, programs on your XP uh, PC and um, remove those programs that you don't use. And uh, with Vista, uh, there there should be um, Vista equivalents, but I'm not sure of these because I use Windows XP, so I can't really say. So I know I think there's something called VLight, which is the same as NLight, but for Vista. Um, but for the other things, I'm not sure. So let's get started. I've got NLight here now. If I double click it, it starts up. Welcome to NLight. Now I've already um, what it does is I've already put my CD into the DVD drive, and I've already copied the files. It automatically automatically copies the files to your drive and then it starts. Now um, I've already copied the files just to save some time so if I go to next it's uh, already gone to my desktop where it says XP so when I click next it just searches the um, the product here and tells me what it is so um, it, it's just a uh, quicker so what would happen it was it would install it would uh, copy the install directory onto your hard drive where you can start removing stuff because what you're going to do in the end is either burn a new one or take the directory so say next it says presets. Uh, we're not going to bother about presets. It's just my last session I did, um, so I remembered the last thing I did, which was just um, making sure it worked. Um, but um, we're not going to worry about this because this should be empty for you because it's the first time you started it. It's only if you want to remember your settings that you've done, done previously. So I'm going to say next, and we have here three or four different things that you can do. Now, um, as you can see, it says integrate, remove, set up, and create. So it's um, pretty easy to follow. Uh, service pack is just uh, things like um, if you have a normal XP disk, you want to put service pack one, service pack two. You can integrate that into the disk. Uh, hot fixes and add-ons. If you want to just add, uh, I think you can get packs from um, from the Nlight website or something like that that you can add. Uh, drivers. So if you have a SATA driver, because that uh, doesn't offer much support for SATA drives. Uh, if you have uh, things like graphics drivers, special graphics drivers that you need to use and you'll only put that XP on that PC then that's useful to have that. I think you can get driver packs as well. And um, that's it for the integration. Remove components is what we'll be doing. We're just going to be removing specific things from the install. Uh, set up unattended. Unattended basically means it will put in the CD key because usually you put in a CD key. It'll put that in for you. It will change your regional settings for you and any other settings and um, options is I haven't really tried this but um, oh, I suppose there's more patches and things like that and uh, tweaks is more registry settings and things like that and uh, creating a bootable ISO now the bootable ISO will be the CD image which you will then burn to a um, DVD or a CD dependent on how big this install is going to be so um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click components because that's all I'm going to do for the time being. You may want to click other things, but I'm just going to install. Uh, I'm going to use remove components. So I'm just going to click next. Straight away it says compatibility. Select the functionality you need in order for the wizard to automatically prevent you from accidentally removing related components. Because if you're removing um, certain things, you don't want to end up having things go wrong if you use them because they do have effect on other things on the system. So as you can see, there's stuff like media center. Uh, DHCP for Wi-Fi so um, I'm just going to cancel this for the time being because I'm not actually going to do anything I'm just going to be showing you so um, to answer your question CPX8 it wants to know um, what to take out and what to leave now it all comes down to personal preference really um, with everything it has a description over here of what it is and how much space you're saving so um, it will give you um, more tips on whether you should remove it or not now to be careful uh, with these things you'll notice if I go to NT backup uh, I can't show you the tip, but it says caution in the uh, in the description. So um, do what it says. It's um, 
have caution if you're actually going to remove that because it may have an effect on your system. So uh, if I was to remove anything, I'll probably remove briefcase, accessibility, uh, clipbook viewer, um, internet games, pinball, screensavers. So they're the sort of things I'd do, but again, don't take my word for it. It's up to you. It's your install. So um, drivers, now uh, some of these are like default um, XP drivers that they have, Microsoft drivers. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to remove some things like I don't know, Sony Jog Dial. If you don't have one, then you can remove that. But um, always, again, be, just be careful because you may end up um, having it not install a driver you need or something like that. Hardware support, the same thing, but you notice most of this is red, so be cautious when installing them. And um, languages, most of these can, well, I suppose they could be removed. Um, don't see any pro point in having other languages. Uh, multimedia, I'd probably remove the music samples. A uh, couple of other bits here, so um, I won't keep going across all of them. But that you can see that there's plenty there that you can remove, and um, the bit over here will tell you what they are and if it's worth removing, and then how much space you're saving. So after that, it should tell you how much you've saved and how much you've removed. So all I have to do is go to next, and it says, "Do you want to start the process?" So it's ready to go. It's ready to modify all the files, uh, take out the stuff, and I can then burn it to a disk or make an ISO, which I can then burn to a disk. Um, or it will just make direct modifications to the installation file because mine is on XP on the desktop all the stuff that's in it it's copied from my CD and um, all it will do is make modifications to this i386 so if you don't make a, um, a CD out of it you can copy the i386 directory onto the computer and run WinNT or something like that and it will, it will run that way so um, that is Enlight so that's all it does, it removes things and adds extra functionality to your XP install. But what about those of you who don't have an XP disk or you've installed XP already and uh, you don't want to make a new one, you don't have to reinstall XP because it's got all your stuff and all that. So uh, XP Lite, now this is a trial version, um, I'm not sure how much it is to buy the full version but the XP trial still offers some uh, functionality and um, as you can see when it starts um, it's chugging away for a little bit, uh, but the XP trial um, allows you to remove some of the um, components that are already in your XP system. So uh, it's asking me to check for updates, I'm going to say no. I'm just going to go to add remove components, and here you can see it has all these things that I have um, that I can remove on my computer. And you see some of them are in brackets because you need the pro version to use them. As far as I know, you can just uh, start unclicking things if you don't want to keep them. And then, again, it's got a, um, a description over here of how much space you're going to save. So, it's well worth getting. I mean, even the trial, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you uninstalled this, it wouldn't reinstall the stuff you've uninstalled, if you get me. Um, you can hide the professional options. That That's a good idea, actually, if we just do that. So, you can see all the stuff that we can actually do on our system and remove. Now, obviously, there isn't that many because it wants you to... Um, get the full version, but it's just it's just saving some space, isn't it? Really, so that is um, XP Lite. Now, some extra tabs: Windows File Protection and uh, Shrink for uninstalling uh, files or whatever this means. I think it's just bug fixes and hot fixes and things like that. So um, that is XP Lite. Now, if you want to, if you don't want to start installing programs or running programs. Um, you want to do it all manually and you want to know how absolutely everything works there is a guide which has been made by Bold Fortune and I'll provide the link to download these and uh, this uh, guide in the description and this guide is crazy this guy has just pretty much written everything every single file that is on a w Windows system he tells you why he doesn't use uh, XP Lite and NLite which is the ones I've just featured um, and he, he basically goes through every single thing um, that is on your computer. And it, I'm just scrolling down here and you can see there's so much information and it just it tells you how to slim down everything that it works with and um, if it's worth removing them. Um, so you can do it manually. Um, I'm not sure how many pages worth this is but um, as you can see it's scrolling down plenty of stuff and I'm, I'm not even a quarter past the actual page. So um, it might be a warning to people with dial up or something, it might take a while to load this because there is a hell of a lot of stuff here. <laughs> so uh, it's worth checking out really because um, if you want to know more about Windows XP it's an idea to have a look at this because it will tell you about every single file. So uh, a big thanks to Bell Fortune for making this. Um, it was made a couple of years ago but it's still useful today. So anyway, um, so these are different ways to slim down your XP system to make it run faster and uh, to consume less space on your system so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again